Welcome back to another lesson. Uh, I was asked recently by one of the viewers whether you can actually play piano with just one hand. If, for example, you had some sort of handicap. Uh, the answer is, of course, it is more difficult and you have to rethink many things uh, as you play. But yes, you can. And for anyone who needs proof, uh, beyond the simple piece I played at the introduction to this video, I suggest you Google uh, or just look on YouTube for uh, Ravel's uh, Piano Concerto for Left Hand, which Ravel wrote at the beginning of the 20th century for a pianist friend who was missing his right hand, I believe due to uh, World War I. So just put that on and have a listen close your eyes and see if you actually think the pianist isn't playing with both his hands. Going back to the topic of how exactly to approach playing uh, on a piano with just one hand, uh, I'd like to give you a few tips and ideas of how to pursue this uh, sort of style. First of all, in terms of technique, uh, just for the purpose of being concrete, let's say you're only going to play with your right hand, then there is nothing holding you back from doing all of the exercises that actually work on your right hand. So if you open up any classic book of exercises like Hannon, you can work through all of the 60 exercises in there. And of course, you, you might think of only doing that part that works on the right hand. So for example, if you do open Hannon, then you'll see that um, the first exercise goes something like this. And you climb all the way up to the top and then you go down. That's the gist of the exercise, and there's nothing holding you back from just doing it with your right hand. And going down. And it really gives your right hand its needed exercise, regardless of the fact that you're missing your left hand. So any of these books of etudes would work wonderfully to get you into shape. Now once you're in shape, how do you approach playing? Uh, many of the tricks that pianists with two hands use are not available to you. For example, when you play a chord, you immediately play the bass with your left hand. Of course, you cannot do this now. Uh, the idea is to think of your hand as doing all of these tasks. So it also has to define the harmony and it also has to play the melody. Usually, I've, this will obviously confine you a bit in the range of things that you can play, but it also forces you to come up with creative ways of doing so. If you'll notice in the piece that I played in the beginning, I've chosen to arpeggiate the chords I'm playing, uh, or to sort of play an arpeggiated melody. So this arpeggiation, which is a very powerful tool, lets me outline both the harmony, which is say a C chord here, and the melody. So if I had two hands, I might play this as Instead, I chose to fuse everything into a single line. Uh, another way or another source of inspiration for playing with just one hand is to look at instruments that really only have one hand uh, playing. 
And the obvious instrument to look at, or the instruments to look at, are the guitar uh, and also the bass guitar. Uh, bass guitars or bass players actually have solos. If you think of someone like uh, Jacopo Astorius, who really used his fretless bass to weave out melodies, although he had this very limiting sort of medium. So he had an instrument which had a fairly limited range and did not sound as rich as a piano or as a guitar. But even just a guitar, it's true that the player uses both hands to play the guitar itself. We have one hand strumming and the other hand holding down the frets. But in reality, it's really equivalent to just having the notes you outline with your left hand and the frets being played out. So in effect, guitar players are kind of playing out only one hand. So listening to guitar players and trying to maybe emulate their playing style is another good source of inspiration. I think that basically outlines the, the main points I wanted to make, which is even if you are handicapped uh, for some reason, don't despair. There is no reason for you not being able to play the piano in a fulfilling way. Uh, it's really, you're going to face pretty much the same challenges as any other pianist playing the piano, namely working on your technique, which is a lot of work, and coming up with ways of sounding original and approaching melodies, which good pianists uh, try to take on as well. The fact that you have two hands doesn't make it any easier to be original. So originality and say right hand technique, uh, these two things I think are sufficient for you to have a truly enjoyable piano playing experience. I hope that somewhat inspired you. I really do urge you to check out the left-handed concerto by Ravel, uh, just to see how far a single-handed pianist can really get. And I hope you've learned something interesting, and I will see you next time.